former president Rahul Gandhi is all set to visit Manipur. Uh, he is going to be on a two-day visit. He is going to visit Manipur on 29th and will be staying there for two days. That will be 29th and 30th. He will. He is in fact planning to speak to the people over there, especially the people where the violence took place, the affected areas where people are living in a very difficult situation. Now, uh, this is going to be a visit where the senior, other senior Congress leaders will also be accompanied. Him apart from his team that will be visiting Manipur. Remember, this is the third attempt that is being made by the Congress Party to visit the violence affected Manipur. Earlier, Bhakt Charanda Singh, who is in charge of uh, Congress Manipur, apart from that, uh, the former Chief Minister of Manipur, Ebobi Akram, were also in fact planning to visit Manipur, but they were not given permission considering the violence that was taking place. Now, a second group of Congress leaders that consists of Congress MP Haibi Eden and also uh, Dean Kuriakos visited Manipur. They wanted to go to the violence hit affected areas in Manipur but they were not given permission. They went there as a fact finding commission but they were not able to really report or uh, speak to people there considering the security that was beefed up in that area. Now all this is happening after the, we have seen on Saturday how, uh, in the last Saturday, we have seen how uh, the Home Minister Amit Shah has in fact convened a meeting where the all party uh, leaders were in fact present in this meeting where he has apprised about the ground situation in Manipur, the violence that was in fact taking place and how the situation has now come to normalcy. Now in this meeting, there was in fact demands that were made by Samajwadi Party apart from the Congress Party as well that they need the resignation of the current Chief Minister and Virin Singh for the condition, for the situation that Manipur is going right now. Now the next day after uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi returned from the United States, there was another meeting that was convened where the senior union ministers were present in the meeting that, uh, that included the Finance Minister Nirmal Sitaraman, Home Minister Amit Shah, Hardeep Singh Puri, all uh, were present in this meeting where uh, the Home Minister Amit Shah in fact uh, apprised the Prime Minister of the situation that is really taking place in Manipur. Now, what the opposition leaders have been saying is that it's been over 50 days since the violence has been taking place in Manipur, even after the visit of Home Minister in the state, the violence had not really come down. Now, the violence is because of the two ethnic groups, Methi and the Kuki community. There has, in fact, been number of delegates from both the communities, from Methi as well as Kuki community, that has, in fact, come down to the national capital, has met with the Home Minister as well, but there has been no solution to the situation. Now, though the situ uh, though uh, the Home Minister has been saying that uh, things have come back to normalcy, but the opposition party has been demanding President's rule in Manipur and also the resignation of the Chief Minister. Now with Rahul Gandhi's visit, the two-day visit to Manipur, it is only going to rake up more politics uh, over the violence that has taken place in Manipur and how and what is going to be the response and how is the BJP government going to respond to the allegations and the kind of ta uh, you know attack that is coming in from the opposition will be something that will be interesting to watch for.